Good afternoon, my dear children. I am Seo Kumar from Sri Vidya Mathematik High Secondary School, Uttangarai. Today we are going to talk about 8th Standard Science Textbook, Chapter Number 16, the lesson topic Microorganism. The lesson topic is microorganism. The microorganism, it is the biggest or huge part of biological science. What is microorganism? The study of microscopic or minute structure of organism living in the world, that <coughs> structure and function furtherly we are going to study that is called a microorganism or microbiology. Microorganism or microbiology. So, <clears throat> what is microbes? The microscopic structure of living organism living in the world that is called microbes. Why it is called microbes? Micro which means the organism structure we cannot identify it with our naked eye structure. We want to identify the organisms, we need a microscope. The microscope is a biological laboratory instrument. The instrument used for identify the microbes. Identify the microbes. So microscopic structure of organisms called microbes. So microbes we can observe under the microscope. What are the microbes? Which means the first one. Bacteria, second one is virus, third one is protozoans, fourth one is fungi, fifth one is algae, and seventh one is actually. <coughs> I have information for you because of do not have a textbook. Another one is mycoplasma. What is mycoplasma? See, this is microbes. Microbes are bacteria, virus, protozoan, fungi, algae, and mycoplasma. These are called microbes. These microbes. It is present all kinds of habitat. I means all kinds of habitat. All kinds of habitat. What is all kinds of habitat? Which means it is spread. I means the biological or the earth surface. We are divided three layers. One is the lithosphere. One is the lithosphere, second one is hydrosphere, third one is atmosphere. This is all kinds of habitat. So microbes are spread over the world, over the earth surface, divided in three parts. One is the lithosphere, hydrosphere, and atmosphere. Lithosphere means layer of soil. Hydrosphere means layer of water. Atmosphere, which means layer of air space. That is uh, <coughs> all kinds of habitat. So the microbes are from the world spread in all kinds of habitat. Another one, the microbes, it have uh, two categories. One is the beneficial microbes, the second one harmful microbes. All the microbes I mean so bacteria, virus, protozoa, fungi, algae and mycoplasma. This <coughs> organisms are called microbes. These microbes are we are divided two parts. One is the beneficial microbes. 
beneficial microbes and second one harmful microbes one is the beneficial microbes second one harmful microbes what are the difference beneficial microbes and the harmful microbes beneficial microbes are the microbes with life cycles and the microbial product from the micro body uh, discharging some other substance or uh, liquid this part is very useful for human life animal lives and plant life cycles next one is harmful microbes are which means the microbes very dangerous to human life that microbes are very dangerous to plant life that microbes are very dangerous to animal lives plant animals and human beings may affect through the microbial infections so what are the microbes may cause us to disease that is called harmful microbes very dangerous so this is the categories of which is microbes another one the microbes are <coughs> Presently, we are artificially we are invented, which means uh, newly discovered the some other beneficial microbes. The science world scientists are discovered the new one from the biology laboratory artificially. That is called superbugs. So uh, that likes all the beneficial microbes are we can manufacture today uh, presence of advanced science. <coughs> they are also including which is beneficial microbes. Next one. We are going to detail structure which we study: bacteria, virus, protozoan, fungi, algae, and mycoplasma. Okay. First, we are taking the bacteria. Bacteria, my previous class, I will explain. What is bacteria? Who has discovered the bacteria? Um, what are the types of bacteria? What are the benefits of bacteria? What are the harmful or effect of bacteria? Everything, my previous class, I explained. Today, we are going to take. Which is the fungi? Which is the fungi? Fungi, it's a non-green plant. What is fungi? Is a non-green plant. It's a one types of eukaryotic organism. Which is fungi is a non-green plant, eukaryotic organism. It is under the classified from the plant kingdom. What is the kingdom? Which means Throughout the world, wide, all the living things are we are classified two categories. One is the plant kingdom. Second one is animal kingdom. That may be a plant. They are going to classified under the plant kingdom. That may be animals. We are going to classify under the animal kingdom. That is a two categories. It is otherwise called a, a plant taxonomy, animal taxonomy. Simply as explained, uh, <clears throat> all the plants are they are going to categories are classified. One is the angiosperm, gymnosperm, bryophyta, pteridophyta, fungi, algae. This is plant classifications. This structure it is called a plant kingdom. As it is animals also there, but now no need. We are going to the topic. Eh? Fungi. Fungi is a non-green saprophyte or parasite types of eukaryotic organism that is called fungi what is the fungi is called a eukaryotic organism fungi is a eukaryotic organism fungi is a eukaryotic organism which means all the animal cell plant cell body is made up of cell membrane or some of the plant cells or have the membrane on nucleus nucleus and the cytoplasm what is the name cytoplasm that the three content must see this is each part is called a cell organelles not the organ organelles uh, part of each so each part of cell structure simply we are called a cell organelle so that nucleus it's more important <clears throat> all the fungi cells are have cell membrane cell wall also actually present central part of the cell structure presence of nucleus that nucleus structure 
we should observe under the microscope very clearly appear that is called a eukaryotic organism another one obviously prokaryotic because bacteria is a prokaryotic bacteria is a prokaryotic what is the difference prokaryotic and eukaryotic prokaryotic which means the cell inside presents of nucleus we are focused under the microscope nucleus are not clearly developed or appear that is called prokaryotic inside the cell structure presence of nucleus very clearly developed and appear that is called eukaryotic organism so fungi are non green saprophyte or parasite types of plant non green plant that the cells are eukaryotic organism which is fungi fungi are eukaryotic organism non green saprophyte what is the meaning of non green all the plants are have a green color pigment that uh, pigment name chlorophyll the chlorophyll present cells are called a green pigmented plant some of the fungi are example uh, from the unicellular fungi is mushroom edible mushroom poisonous mushroom that likes a mushroom it is a it is a plant but do not have a green color pigment that is called a non green plant which is fungi another one is parasite and the saprophyte what is the difference parasite and the saprophyte see the parasite and the saprophyte which means it is depend on the nutrients depend on the nutrients all the animals and plants are uh, based on the new uh, nutrient habitat it is classified two categories one is the autotrophic nutrition second one heterotrophic nutrition autotrophic which means example animals and other uh, photosynthesis maintain types of plant that is autotrophic nutrition sorry animals are also heterotrophic nutrition because of we are more, we are needed food substance food by use only we cannot prepare we are taking from the other resources that is called heterotrophic nutrition which animals or plants only prepare the food materials or prepare the nutrients that is called autotrophic nutrition so autotrophic means self preparation that is called autotrophic nutrition heterotrophic means the organism need nutrients or it is only cannot prepare it is collect from other resources that is called heterotrophic nutrition example human being autotrophic nutrition example plant i means a green pigmented plant photosynthesis of plant fungi is a plant but do not have a green pigmented pigment the pigment it is useful for the maintain the photosynthesis throughout the photosynthesis it is prepare the nutrients so that mechanism not present in the fungi because of fungi is called a saprophyte and parasite saprophyte which means the organism need food materials it is collect from other dead and decaying organic matter from the dead body from the dead body it is collecting the nutrient which is fungi that is called a saprophyte parasite means the plant or animal it is a living organism it is collect nutrient from the other living thing that is called a parasite so that is a difference which is saprophyte and parasite saprophyte and parasite so fungi are it is maintain two types of nutrient habitat one is the saprotypes of saprophyte second one parasite because sometimes taking from the dead body sometimes taking from the other living thing bodies that is called saprophyte and parasite types of life cycle nutrient which is fungi because of i told which is fungi is or non green saprophyte and parasite types of plant non green plant and the eukaryotic organisms next one is absence of chlorophyll <coughs> fungi is are two categories one is the unicellular fungi second one multicellular fungi the fungi is it can grow very dark places dark environment there only the fungi is are growing next one is fungi is are it is classified under the animal sorry, plant kingdom i told you uh, <coughs> my college the study of fungi structure and function of our life cycle is called mycology what is called mycology mycology which means
study of fungal life cycle that is called mycology the next one is <coughs> unicellular fungi best example unicellular fungi best example yeast unicellular fungi best example yeast multicellular fungi best example which is mushroom unicellular fungi best example yeast multicellular fungi best example mushroom another one is example is penicillin which is penicillin penicillin is a multicellular fungi okay fungi nutrition power fungi respiration from the fungi body inside presence of mitochondria it is maintain anaerobic respiration what is the name anaerobic respiration so what is the meaning of anaerobic respiration respiration are two types one is the aerobic respiration second one anaerobic respiration first one <coughs> aerobic respiration aerobic respiration the aerobic respiration which means from the atmosphere from the atmosphere presence of axons and the presence of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere presence of axon presence of carbon dioxide all the plant equally all the plants are it will take carbon dioxide from the atmosphere okay plant body structure will take atmosphere oxide take atmosphere carbon dioxide and release the oxygen release the axon this types of respiration it is called anaerobic respiration anaerobic respiration all the plants are maintained inversely oppositely it is doing <coughs> this type of which is respiration which means anaerobic respiration anaerobic respiration which means fermentations take up atmosphere carbon dioxide release the axon that is a anaerobic respiration aerobic respiration which means animals are doing aerobic respiration what it will take atmosphere axon and release the carbon dioxide that is called which is aerobic respiration so aerobic respiration which means from the atmosphere taking axon release the carbon dioxide that is called aerobic respiration anaerobic respiration which means from the atmosphere it will take carbon dioxide will take axon release from the organism body that is anaerobic respiration anaerobic respiration otherwise called fermentation so all the plants are maintained which is anaerobic respiration here fungi also maintained which is anaerobic respiration one second i'll explain anaerobic respiration which means the fungi body it will take atmosphere carbon dioxide release the axon that is anaerobic respiration so anaerobic respiration otherwise called fermentation next one reproductions the reproduction is a real biological process it is very essential character which is living beings so fungi are maintain <coughs> asexual reproduction reproductions are two categories which is one is the sexual reproduction second one asexual reproductions what is the meaning of sexual reproduction second one asexual reproductions sexual reproduction means it is involve the male and female two parent produce the gametes gametes are fused form a zygote it is develop into new young one that is called a sexual reproduction asexual reproduction which means only one parent the body or cell structure completely matured after as it is same young one will produce that is asexual reproduction so asexual reproduction are many categories budding process binary fissions multi fissions fragmentations and another one is uh, <coughs> multiplications i mean uh, replication methods the virus it is maintained replication methods so remain all the each organisms main individual activities so that is uh, types of reproductions fungi it's maintain asexual reproduction an example budding process budding process maintained by yeast just observe me i will draw the simple diagram because of from the fungi unicellular example yeast i will draw the yeast diagram and explain then you can easily understand just listen i will draw the board see this is a simple <coughs> diagrammatic structure of which is yeast yeast to the better example of which is unicellular organism that is the structure of yeast structure of 
east see it's a double layer which i mean sir east outer part is covered by cell wall east cell structure outer part is covered with that is called a cell wall inner layer is called a cell membrane which is cell membrane in the presence of cytoplasm in the presence of cytoplasm also present sorry cytoplasm also presents we should put simple dot that is a aggregation for you that is cytoplasm central part of yeast is present so which is nucleus which is nucleus the nucleus also present and another one ribosomes also present that is called ribosome the ribosome is very essential for the manufacture of proteins next one is <clears throat> presence of mitochondria this is structure of mitochondria from the found uh, <clears throat> yeast inside a lot of uh, mitochondria is present i will draw only two this is uh, structure of mitochondria present in the yeast huh? and next one is large or huge structure presence of vacuoles vacuoles and some other uh, food granules also present okay. And you also present that is a structure of yeast. That is a structure of yeast. So, <clears throat> so it is a better example which is sorry yeast cell structure. It is a better example for unicellular fungi. So, presence of cell membrane, cell wall, cytoplasm, nucleus, ribosome, vacuoles, mitochondria, food granules. All the cell organs are maximum present. That is structure of yeast. Okay, we are going to start next microorganism structure and function is algae. The algae also it is simple plant like structure eukaryotic organism which is algae. The study of algae is called a pycology. What is pycology? The previous tip or topic I told you, mycology, which means study of or structure and functions of fungi, is called mycology. Structure and functions of algae study is called which is pycology. Mycology, pycology. There were two differences. Mycology means structure and functions of or study of fungi. Pycology means algae. So algae also. simple plant like structure simple plant like <coughs> structure that is algae it is also eukaryotic organism it is also eukaryotic organism that is called algae the algae also found all kinds of habitat already told you all kinds of habitat which means it is spread throughout the world i means from the lithosphere from the atmosphere from the hydrosphere i told you hydrosphere means layer of water layer of water ocean water sea water river water lake water pond water and other stream water that is water habitat second one is lithosphere layer of soil or earth surface crust core mantle that is layer of earth surface or soil that is uh, they are spread all the areas grass grassland <coughs> desert in all kinds of habitat that is i mean second one is atmosphere which means from the earth surface they are spread which is all these <coughs> next one there are maintain autotrophic nutrition i told you 
nutritions are two categories one is the autotrophic nutrition second one heterotrophic nutrition autotrophic means the organism need food material or nutrients only can prepare from the bodies own bodies that is called autotrophic nutrition so heterotrophic nutrition means the animals are plant they are acquired or needed food materials only cannot prepare from from the own bodies that is called which is heterotrophic nutrition so animals only call which is heterotrophic nutrition all the plant is called which is autotrophic nutrition because all the green pigment plants except the fungi remaining all the bryophyta tridophyta angiosperm gymnosperm all the plants are can prepare own food meal from the own body that is called autotrophic nutrition so algae also can prepare own food materials from the own body that is called autotrophic nutrition so algae it is <coughs> only prepare the food materials so it is autotrophic nutrition types of plant which is algae algae it is maximum present in the water body so it is otherwise called grass of water which is grass of water grass of water which is called grass of water algae because of it is present from the water layer bottom to top entirely spread some of the lake ecosystem pond ecosystems river ecosystem inside the algae are it is grow from the bottom to top sometimes it is otherwise called algal bloom what is the name algal bloom algal bloom which means the algae it is developed from the <clears throat> from the pond ecosystem bottom to top entire water surface completely covered that is called algal bloom algal bloom which means in fully grown it is covered the water bodies that is called algal bloom understand so this is <clears throat> your call which is grass of water another one is i told you autotrophic nutrition uh, always all the algae are have pigment i am telling uh, chlorophyll pigments respiratory plant all the plant bodies have respiratory substance respiratory substance or photosynthesis pigments chlorophyll that is respiratory pigments present in the plant body inside algae also have that pigment the chlorophyll that is a photosynthesis pigment or respiratory pigment it is present in the algae's body so it's a green pigmented plant which is algae is called green pigmented plants i told you the next one is the study of algae is called pycology study of bacteria cycle life cycle is called bacteriology study of virus life cycle is called virology the study of fungi life cycle life cycle is called mycology study of algae life cycle is called which is pycology eh? okay this very small size structure which is the algae very small size structure that size maximum will be there 1 to 50 meter simply it will have 1 mm to 50 meter that size which is the algae size it will have 1 mm to 50 meters that much of length that is called size of which is algae in the unicell algae are two categories one is the unicellular algae the second one is multicellular algae one is the unicellular algae second one is multicellular algae algae is also it is maintain two types of reproductions one is the sexual reproduction second one asexual reproductions one is the sexual reproduction second one is asexual reproductions first we are taking the unicellular algae in a better example chlamydomonas i will drop the board just listen i will draw the diagram simple <coughs> unicellular algae an uh, example structure clandomonas unicellular algae unicellular algae examples clandomonas
See this is simple structure which is unicellular algae structure chlamydogonus. Just listen. You should uh, learn from me how to draw the diagram in biological species. Huh? It is called a cell membrane. Sorry, cell wall. Cell wall inside presence of which is cell membrane. Okay. And this is called a red color eye spores. This one is another one cup shape of chloroplast. This structure cup shape of a chloroplast present in the which is unicellular algae lambdomonas. This name chloroplast. The chloroplast may contain which is a green color pigments, chlorophylls. Central part of the structure presence of which is pyrenoid. That is called pyrenoid. The pyrenoid used for the maintain the photosynthesis, store the food materials. Another one is presence of a nucleus. So this is structure which is unicellular better examples, algae, uh, species name Lambdomonas. Among the, all the plants, never migrate from one place to another place. All the plants are constantly maintained the life cycle in the same place. But Lambdomonas only, it is a movie types of plant. Use that flagella. It will migrate from one place to another places. So it is a migration type of plant, Plamidomonas. It is a better example which is algae. <clears throat> another one is we are going to talk about protozoans. What is the name? Protozoans. The protozoans also it is a microorganisms that the microbes are. It is example for single cell animals or unicellular animals, which is protozoans. The protozoans. It is otherwise called a unicellular animal. Unicellular animal. The unicellular animal, best example, protozoans. What is unicellular animals? I mean single cell animal. That animal body structure, it is made up of only one cell. That is called a unicellular animals or single cell animals. Uh, <clears throat> just uh, 20 minutes before I told you, plants are classified. I mean plant classifications. Plants are classified angiosperm, gymnosperm, bryophyta, pteridophyta, fungi, algae. As it is, animals also we are classified unicellular animal and multicellular animals. Unicellular animal, only one example is protozoans. What is protozoan? Which means proto means P R O T O. Sorry, protozoan which means first. Z O E N. Protozoan which means animals. So that meaning which is first animal, that is the meaning, protozoans. Protozoans mean that is the first animals. All the single animals are under the classified which is protozoans. So the name protista. What is the name? Protista. P-R-O-T-I-S-T. -E protista which means <coughs> single cell animals. So study of protista is called protozoology. P R O T O Z O L O G Y. What is the meaning? Protozoology. So protozoology means sorry. Uh, <clears throat> protozoology means the study of structure and functions of a single cell animal. This process which is called a protozoology. What is the name? Protozoology. 
So all the protozoans sort. It is eukaryotic organism. What is the name? Eukaryotic organisms. All the protozoans are eukaryotic cell or animals. I told you, pro eukaryotic, which means the animal body is made up of single cell, but the inside the cell presence of nucleus very clearly developed. That is called eukaryotic organism. So, protozoan nucleus structure very clearly appears. So, it is called which is eukaryotic animals. Protozoans are eukaryotic animal. The size of microbes, it is a microbes, which is protozoans are microbes. That the size will be there, listen, 2 micron, minimum size, 2 micron to 200 microns. That is size of protozoans, 2 microns to 200 microns, and very smallest size, 2 microns. Huge size protozoans are 200 micron in diameter. So what does it mean diameter? See this is a cross section. This range is which is that is called diameters. So microns means 1 by 10,000 millimeter. That is called 1 micron. Huh? So all the protozoans are 2 microns to 200 microns in diameter. That is the size of which is protozoans. The study of Protozoa is called protozoology. What is the name? Protozoology. The protozoans are all the protozoans are morphologically not the same structure and not the same functions. I told you microbes are two categories. One is the beneficial microbes, second one, harmful microbes. In the protozoans also, they are harmful characters. That is called a pathogen. What is the name? Pathogens. Just I will explain. What is the meaning of pathogen? Pathogen means that microbe it is causes to plant disease, animal disease, human disease. That is called pathogen. Pathogen means harmful microbes. That is called pathogens. Germs, microbes. What is the name? Microbes. Pathogen means harmful microbes are called pathogen. Understand? See, <clears throat> most of the protozoans very harmful characters. So. Uh, <clears throat> protozoans are called pathogens. Okay. The protozoans morphologically not even structure. Some of the protozoans are, see, this is a <clears throat> very simple example paramecium. The paramecium outer body structure, it is contained, which is cilia. This is structure of paramecium. Structure of paramecium. The paramecium outer body is covered. Very thread like, simple thread like structure that name cilia. That name ciliated protozoans. The cells are am, which is cell membrane, which is cell membrane, and the presence of cytoplasm also, nucleus also presents, which is nucleus also presents, <clears throat> cytoplasm also presents. Okay, everything same, but morphologically, that the protozoans are we are classic, which is that is called a ciliated protozoans because of out animal body or a single cell body outer part is covered by cilia, that is called a ciliated protozoans. Next one is flagellated. What is the name? Flagellated. So this is clang. Uh, sorry, <clears throat> a simple euglena. The structure name euglena. The euglena is a intermediate organism. What is the meaning of intermediate? It is not animal, it is not a plant. That is called intermediate or between organism, between the plant cell and the animal cell, between organisms or called which is intermediate organism. See, that is the structure which is euglena. <laughs> That is such a euglena. The euglena it is a really animal cells. But inside the euglena presence of chloroplast. Euglena inside it, presence of that is a chloroplast. Presence of chloroplast. Presence of nucleus. Nucleus. See this is a 
स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ फ्लैजिल्ला स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ फ्लैजिल्ला सॉरी सेल मेम्ब्रेन आर सुप्रेशन व्हिच इज सेल मेम्ब्रेन आर सुप्रेशन एंड साइटोप्लाज्म एवरीथिंग प्रेजेंट सेल मेम्ब्रेन ओनली प्रेजेंट इन व्हिच इज फ्रॉम द एनिमल सेल्स सेल वॉल ओनली प्रेजेंट इन प्लांट सेल्स and chloroplast only plastid i am telling plastid only present in which is plant cell some other um, animal cell organelles are present in which is euglena so some of the characters are coincide with the plant cell structure some of the characters are coincide with the animal cell structure so euglena is called which is intermediate organism what intermediate between the plant and animal cell intermediate organism which is euglena the euglena body outer part is covered by flagella so that the protozoans are called flagellated protozoans another very familiar famous example which is amoeba the amoeba it's one types of eukaryotic protozoans amoeba is one types of eukaryotic protozoans see this is called pseudopodium what is the name pseudopodium p silent pseudopodia gan which is amoeba amoeba outer part is covered by which is cell membrane which is cell membrane cell membrane inside presence of which is cytoplasm presence of cytoplasm nucleus also present nucleus also present uh, food contracting vacuoles the contracting vacuoles also present around the amoeba from the cell membrane a false speeds are there which is the false speed this is the cell membrane sometimes amoeba need a food materials so the amoeba it will migrate toward the available of food directions so food substance available here the amoeba it want to move from that to this directions so toward the directions the cell membrane it will develop a finger like projection that is called the pseudopodium that is called the pseudopodiate it is used for the migrations for the food requirements so pseudopodiated flagellated and ciliated that is a different types of which is a protozoans okay children we have only another simple topic is that we will discuss the next class one more advice for you uh, you fully observe the video don't please don't skip fully observe the video whenever you need a time clearly observe think more be safe and <clears throat> verify the textbook if you need a more message give the comments from the box i will give more information for you we will discuss in next class